Some of you might have a display that's doing this. And if you squeeze it, it might work. So there's a pretty easy fix for this. Easy. I'm gonna ah. show you how to do it now. First, you take the display out using these two little screws there. And at this point I noticed you have to remove that as well. So this is what it looks like from the car. All of those little pins have to be resoldered. Use a medium heat. So initially I tried using some additional solder, but it was really hard. I mean, this stuff is so small that you can barely see it. So then I decided just to reflow the existing solder. Which is easier. And of course you have to do that for each one. It's kind of a pain as you can see I'm using a magnifying glass there to be able to see what I'm doing. This is me inspecting the work I just did. I wasn't really happy with it. I don't think there was enough solder on the contact to allow for this sort of reflowing of it. So I went back to plan A, which is adding more solder. Now these things are really small. I mean, I could barely see what I was doing here. It's, it's, mainly, it's mainly guesswork. As you can see, solar is kind of getting everywhere. And again, you do this for each one. I'm glad this video came out as fuzzy actually, because that is exactly how I was seeing it. So what I'm doing here is using a, a flat edge screwdriver to just clean the solder and flux from in between the pins just to make sure I hadn't soldered any of them together. And this looks really bad, I know, but yeah, hopefully it'll work. Oh, that looks so bad. Anyway, you can see here that none of them are making contact with each other and they all have nice new solder on them, maybe a bit too much. Taha! It works. I'm just testing all of the different uh, segments now by playing with a climate control.
everything seems to work just fine so yeah that's a success uh, beats having to buy a new one I mean if this failed I would have had to buy a new one anyway so no loss I hope this helped you out